Okay, this flight's a shuttle to the base at Groom Lake. It's all VFR to avoid a paper trail, but along the way we have to pass through the Las Vegas-class Bravo airspace, as well as a bunch of restricted airspace owned by Nellis Control. I'll handle all radio communication, you do the flying. We'll take off and fly runway heading to 4000, then turn left and fly direct to the Mercury NDB at Desert Rock. We usually file to Desert Rock, but when nobody's looking, we turn north and follow the Immigrant Valley to Groom Lake. Ready? I'll get her clearance out of here. Clearance, Janet 356, VFR to Desert Rock with information, Charlie. Janet 356, you're cleared into the Las Vegas Class Bravo airspace. Fly runway heading, maintain 4,500. Departure frequency will be 125.9er. Squawk 4211. Cleared into the Class Bravo on runway heading, climbing to 4.5. Departure on 125.9er, squawk 4211. Janet 356. Janet 356, read back is correct. Contact ground when ready to taxi. All right, start the engines and we can get the show on the road. Good, I'll get our taxi clearance. Las Vegas ground, Janet 356, ready to taxi. VFR to Desert Rock with Charlie. Janet 356, taxi to runway one left via hotel and Bravo. One left via hotel, Bravo, Janet 356. Set flaps to five for takeoff. Taxi straight ahead, then turn right onto Taxiway Hotel. Hotel parallels the runway, which will be on your left. Taxi to Bravo, which is almost at the end of the taxiway.
Contact departure. Janet 356 switching. Departure Janet 356 with you climbing to 4,500. Janet 356 radar contact. Altitude restriction removed. Proceed on course. Up to 14,000. Own navigation Janet 356. Okay, turn left and fly direct to the Mercury NDB. Climb and maintain 14,000. I'll let operations know we're on our way. Gold Coast, Janet 356 is airborne. Janet 356, Gold Coast, roger. Have a good one.
thousand to go. Turn the landing lights and the seatbelt sign off. Level off at 14,000 feet and set cruise thrust. Let's get these folks to work as fast as we can. Just don't exceed 330 knots. The captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign, indicating that it's safe to move about the cabin. For your own safety, we request that you keep your seatbelt fastened if you're in your seat during this short flight. Contact Nellis Control on 126.65. Janet 356 switching. Nellis Control, good morning. Janet 356 with you at 14000. Janet 356, Nellis Control, you're loud and clear. Nellis Altimeter 29095. 29095, Janet 356. Nellis, Janet 710 is off Silver Bow, out of 7000 for 190. Janet 710, Nellis Control, ident. Janet 710, radar contact, 5 miles north of Silver Bow, maintain flight level 190. Heading up to 190, Janet 710. Traffic in sight. Channel 356 looking. 
Whoa, what the? Janet 356, traffic alert. Traffic now 12 to 1 o'clock, less than a mile, westbound, altitude unknown. Janet 356, that was a close one. Nellis, Janet 356, go. Nellis, Janet 356. Nellis, you with me? Janet 356, Roger. Lost you for a minute there. Okay, we're getting close. Let's run through the approach checklist. Janet 356, Roger. Must have been electromagnetic interference from the fast mover. Traffic no longer observed. Altimeter set to 29.95. Yeah, that was pretty close. Looked like they were right at our altitude. Speeds set. At our current weight, we'll want to fly the approach at 140 knots. Sorry about that. They've been at it all week. Keep your eyes open. Not everything appears on the scope. Approach brief. We'll request the visual approach to runway 32 via Pyramid Waypoint. That's just to the southeast of Groom Lake, but Tower will probably clear us to land before we get there. Will do. Thanks for the advisory this time, Jetta 356. Approach checklist complete. Reduce our speed to 250 knots now. Janet 710, descend and maintain 15000, Nellis altimeter 29095. 29095, departing 1900 for 15000, Janet 710. Janet 710, maintain 180 knots. Slowing to 180 knots, Janet 710. Janet 710, contact Vegas now, 125.02. 2502, Janet 710. Janet 356, contact the tower. Janet 356, switching. I'll call the tower now. Note that we change our call sign here from Janet 356 to Longhorn 27. I could tell you why, but then I'd have to kill you. Just kidding. Tower, Longhorn 27, request the visual runway 32 via pyramid. Longhorn 26, correction, Longhorn 27, stand by. Roger. Longhorn 27, tower, cleared visual approach, runway 32 via pyramid. Okay, direct pyramid and cleared for the visual, runway 32, Longhorn 27. Okay, we're cleared for the visual approach to runway 32. Descend 6,000 feet for now, and continue flying to Pyramid Waypoint. Make straight in runway 32. You're number two to follow a fast mover on final. Wind calm. Straight in 32. Looking for the fast mover. Longhorn 27. Just continue flying toward Pyramid for now.
We're approaching Pyramid. The airbase is just ahead and to the left. Turn toward it and continue descending to the runway. Maintain 180 knots for now. The runway is the big one on the right. Airport elevation is 4,600 feet MSL. Tower, Granite 3 1, ready to go on the north pad. Eastbound to patrol Kikabu with Echo. Granite 3 1, cleared for takeoff. Traffic is a fast mover on final for the ramp and a 737 behind him on the runway. Cleared for takeoff, we'll watch for the traffic. Granite 3 1. Vista 4 5, wind calm, ramp landing approved. Fire equipment standing by for spray down. Roger, ramp landing approved. Vista 4 5. Longhorn 27, fast mover traffic just south of the ramp now. Additional traffic at the slow mover departing the north pad eastbound. Longhorn 27 looking. Longhorn 27 has both aircraft in sight. Longhorn 27, wind calm. Clear to land runway 32. Report gear down. Clear to land 32, Longhorn 27. We're about four miles from the runway now. Lower the landing gear, slowly add full flaps, and reduce speed to 140 knots for the approach. Lower the landing gear. Longhorn 27 on short final, gear down and locked. Longhorn 27, roger, wind's calm. Landing checklist, landing gear is down. Flaps set to full. Landing checklist complete. Vista 4-5, spray down this frequency. Vista 4-5, roger. Sink rate. Sink rate. Pull up. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Don't sink. Longhorn 27, turn next taxiway to the left. Roger, Longhorn 27. Longhorn 27, clear of the active, taxi to the ramp. Longhorn 27, taxi to parking this frequency. Your outbound clearance is on request. Longhorn 27, taxi straight ahead to the ramp. We'll park next to the other Janet aircraft. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop at the gate and the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. We realize you don't have a choice as to how you get to Groom Lake, but nonetheless, we appreciate you choosing to fly there with us. Job security all around. Enjoy your day. Tower Vista 63 South Ramp. Request east departure with Delta. Vista 63 Wind Calm. East departure approved. Caution 737 on taxi. East departure approved. Vista 63.